Well, hello and welcome back again to Craft D&D. Today, I'm going to work on fixing my Dungeon Master's Guide. Uh, back when I was in high school, uh, late 80s, I um, often had to try to put things in um, my binders and so forth so that they wouldn't get uh, discovered, Satanic Panic. Uh, if, you knew, if you haven't ever heard of that, I do have a video um where I discuss my DM's binder um, during that time, and I'll link that somewhere here. But uh, basically, uh, in that time period, I would put three-hole punch uh, the my, uh, various materials that I had, and I even had the not-so-brilliant idea to try to three-hole punch my Dungeon Master's Guide. That was a horrible idea. Hopefully it, or thankfully I failed, but uh, today I'm going to go ahead and do some fixing on this. I'm not going to be able to fix these holes, unfortunately, because they're just too, too damaged there. But I'm going to be able to actually fix and reinforce some of this stuff here without using tape. Uh, instead, I'm just going to use simple uh, Elmer's glue. That's all you actually need to fix any book. Pages falling out of a book, binding coming loose on a book. Uh, the edges are frayed. Yeah, you really only need Elmer's glue and an old paintbrush. Um, something to put the glue in. This is baking paper, not wax paper. Baking paper. Uh, glue does not stick to it, at least not very well. That could be hot glue or Elmer's glue or any glue that I've rubber cement. None of that really sticks to it. It'll dry on it, but you can just pick it right off. So it makes a good... Uh, uh, for like sealing things where you don't want the paper to transfer. So if I used a piece of wax paper, the wax paper would dry on it and it would actually get stuck. So you want to use baking paper. And then some uh, um, popsicle sticks for just some reinforcement here and there. And then my final item that I have are just these um, hair. Uh, I don't know. They're what women use to tie their hair up with. Uh, my wife turned me on to these, actually, uh, as an excellent uh, rubber band system because they're made not to do any damage because they're made for hair, so they're not going to like do any damage at all to a book. So they work great for that. I'll put that out of the way for now. And take a look at some of the damage in this book here. Like I said, here's this, obviously. I, was, I actually tried to do this with a drill press. It was not my brightest moment. Um... When that failed, I was going to actually take a saw and cut the, sp the uh, spine off and then three-hole three, three punch it. But thankfully, somebody talked me out of that horrible idea. Uh, not before I had done the damage that I had done. Uh, but they were like, what are you doing? And they actually talked me out of, you know, destroying my book. And I uh, actually uh, just kind of put it in a different spot than, uh, than I would have otherwise um and actually that's in that other uh, other video that i that i uh put up uh something with my uh dm's book or my dm guide here i have all these little tabs in here i really hesitate to take these tabs out i could cut them you know smooth with the with the scissors but i don't think i would peel them out at all because i'm afraid the glue um, would actually damage the book. So while I might actually go ahead and take a scissors and just cut those flush, I would not actually per, you know, try, try to peel those or pick those off because I'm pretty sure they would do some damage to the page as I went. Um, I used to have this whole book tabbed out, obviously, and uh, over time those tabs have uh, all broken off and been lost and just left with a little bit of... Uh, paper and glue and stuff um, inside the book here there's some damage here I'm gonna try to just do some reinforcement there with a little bit of glue um, something like this you could put a little tiny bit of book tape I don't have any book tape I've got some actual real book tape that you could buy um, uh, you can find it online and, and so forth that they actually make for repairing books uh, something like that would actually help that spot. I don't have any today. 
I'm going to reinforce this section here where it's broken uh, against the binding. And I'm just going to do all this with uh, just regular glue. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing special. Uh, they actually sell a uh, book glue, but it's pretty much just glue. So unless you have like a, I wouldn't like some really rare, fancy, antique book worth thousands of dollars, I probably would have a professional fix it for me. But I um, don't have one that. I'm just having an old Dungeons Master's Guide book. It's maybe, maybe worth, it's overpriced on eBay, but uh, it's not worth thousands of dollars. We'll leave it at that. Uh, here you can see where, before I knew any better, how I tried to fix this with tape. I had a page come out, so I taped it back in. That, once again, is an awful, awful idea. So I'm going to have to try to fix that with, uh, with uh, my glue, which you can do very easily. You can glue all these pages back into place with just your basic glue. Uh, so I have all these spots here where it's taped, and I am going to have to repair that tape spots. Kind of go leafing through here a little bit. There's a few spots where I could use some reinforcement, but the biggest spot is back there where that tape is. Um, and then kind of right through here, they could definitely use some reinforcement there too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first, so I'm going to go ahead and, on another item that I need, it was the X-Acto knife and a pair of scissors, obviously the X-Acto knife to cut this out and a pair of scissors to trim all of these down with. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim all these off here real quick. And like I said, that's going to be just as simple as slicing those off with the scissors. I am not going to even try to pick those off at all. This book has been through a lot. It has been definitely used and reused and used again. There's been no doubt about that. There's that area where it's taped. You can see that good here. I'll hold it up here and you can see that shiny cellophane tape there. All yellowed and nasty with age. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take the tape off without damaging the page. The tape's going to have to stay. But I am going to reinforce or fix the page so it's not taped into place, but it's actually uh, securely glued into place. And how I'm going to do that, I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and just very, very carefully cut the tape without cutting any paper is my goal. So I just got to carefully, 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 carefully turn this around. Better angle at it. This tape is so old. It's just, yeah, it's just coming apart easily. Okay. Now the book itself has a couple of spots where it's still attached. I'm just going to go ahead and finish removing this page just because it's simpler this way to fix it when it was held on by just a couple of small little corners like that. The same way with this page here, it also was just held on with tape now. So I'm going to go ahead with my X-Acto knife and just cut through that tape. This here piece of tape here must have came from a different roll because it's a little bit thicker, or at least it didn't age the same. Okay. And I'm really not sure when this book got taped actually, but it was a long time ago. Okay. As you can see here, there's still some here where this page is coming up. It's Pretty good though. I'm not going, but here I can see there's a page here is coming up. I got quite a few pages here that are coming up or wanting to come up. So, what I'm going to do is go here to the middle section and just look for any more spots, any more pages that might be starting to come up. 
I'm going to have to go through and glue all of this. It's going to be a pretty big job here. This book is really damaged. In no small part thanks to my craziness trying to drill holes in it all that time ago. Don't drill holes in your book. That was an overreaction to another overreaction. But uh, here we go. Just got the glue in here, and at the end, if your glue seems to be a little bit too thick, you can sort of water it down, but I wouldn't recommend watering it down too much because you don't want the water just going everywhere. So I just got a little bit of glue in there, and I'll be using more probably, but there's some glue. It's an old paintbrush. I like to use a little bit thicker one, but you, you have to use what works good for you. And literally, it's just like painting. Only you're painting with glue. And I am going to set this over here out of my way. And literally just start getting it down in there. And I just kind of work it up and down a little bit. If you do see a little bit too much somewhere, clean that off. Just like you would normally when you're gluing something. Not a big deal key is, is don't have too much on the brush when you start. I'll just go ahead and just work that right into that crack like that, into that crevice. And just keep working it through. Now, is this going to be perfect? No. Am I a professional book repairer? No. Is this going to be good enough for your Dungeons and Dragons books and keep them going at the gaming table for a long time? Yeah, absolutely. I have fixed a ton of my books like this that have been damaged, and I have had to fix them just by re-gluing them or fixing pages. Now it's going to go just like this here. Just kind of push it down, and I will not try not to go back to that page until I am checking it out after it's dry. Calling that page done. If I had to do more touch-up at the end or something, I would wait for it to be completely dry and then go back. So the same thing here. Now, you might want a little bit thinner brush at times just because it's going to be a little bit easier to get into spots. Don't be afraid to clean it off with your finger and start fresh. You need to, if you make a big mistake, clean it off with your finger, let it sit and dry, and then try again. Don't uh, don't try to use any harsh cleaners or anything to clean the glue off. You might think I'm using a lot here. Just trying to get it way up into that crevice. Now I'm getting a little bit more, but this is such a damaged book. And I want to make sure I get it really good. And then just kind of working my finger down. Now I'm going to do the same thing right here in this section. And this is going to be several sections worth here. And I'm going to have to do this for. And if I do it page by page by page, it is going to be slow work. But it should be a good job when I'm done which is what I'm going for. Close this down. So this was one of the sections now I'm getting into where that tape was. So now I'm going to what I'm going to do here real quick is just kind of shut this book. Because I've got a lot of work there. Okay. And I'll open her back up. And 
we're ready to start inserting the first page. First thing to double check is your page numbers, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You don't want to mess this part up. All right, make sure everything's going to line up nicely. Understand what you're going to do before you do it. And then making sure that once again, you don't accidentally flip the page over somehow. So 18 to 19. Still looking good there. All I'm going to do is just paint the edge of this with my glue. Just paint the entire edge of this piece of paper with my glue. So take your time, re dip often, make sure you get the entire edge coated with glue. Like I said, you have time. This is Elmer's glue. It doesn't dry very fast. So you don't have to worry that you are have to rush at all. You can literally stop, take a break, come back. As long as it wasn't, you know, a too long of a break. And you'd be fine. So don't rush it with your Elmer's glue. That's why you're using the Elmer's glue is because it's going to make it a lot easier for you. Just paint that right on that on that edge. And then carefully work it in. Once again, it's Elmer's glue. If you do get it off a little bit, you can adjust it. But just kind of rub all the way around. Make sure everything's settled in. Whoops. Don't do that. That's what not to do. Don't fold the page up. Just kind of work your fingers down and then we have another one here same thing do need to reinforce a section, and once again, you don't have book tape, toilet paper actually works pretty well. Here, I got a little section that's, I don't know, got a little bit wet or something, but, but yeah, toilet paper actually works pretty well for if you need to reinforce something. Toilet paper and Elmer's glue in a book like that will actually reinforce areas that, that really need it. Like if this entire section was coming off i might have considered just a little bit of toilet paper in there just to just to give it some extra fiber more or less and i'm not sure exactly why it works but it does it works really well if you have a binding coming off of a, of a book if you mix some toilet paper up in there it does work and right now i'm just painting this edge of the next page which is also coming up that this whole section here was in really bad shape. Obviously, back in the day, we had no idea that you could do this because, once again, Satanic Panic, you weren't asking the librarian how to fix a book. Librarian could have probably told you. you know?
you, know, so you can see these sections on that cardboard, they kind of flake out. So if you get that glue into every layer, that will flake. Don't peel it apart on purpose, but wherever it's flaking out. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to kind of fill this hole a little bit with some glue, just enough to kind of give those layers some strength. My goal is not to fix it. It's just to reinforce it. Uh, back up in here, there's actually... Spine was actually coming loose. I should be able to fold that down. That should actually glue into place. Plus that glue will actually run down a little bit in those layers. Being a little bit generous here. So again, this is where I, in a fit of craziness, tried to drill holes in it. So don't do that. That was, I don't know, a long time ago, but no different situation. But here we go. I have my chunk of paper. I have glue on the outside here, so I'm just going to put this right around it. I said you don't want to use wax paper or anything like that, because it will damage it. And then I try, try to put these on just as strong as I can. And I just kind of come around. However I can to kind of hold, hold everything into place. Doesn't want to stay. Nice thing about these big puffy ones too is I can come up over the corners if I want to and not actually be on the corners. See how it went between the corners like a net there? Because I don't want to damage these corners any more than, than they already are. But that enabled me to do that. Now, with these guys, I can kind of maneuver some of this around still. Where I want to reinforce that center more. Just work a popsicle stick or two or three or how many ever it takes until it's good and tight. We get at least a couple in there, maybe three. But I want that whole section to be nice and tight. I do want that to be fixed. Okay, well then, uh, yeah, it is going to just take some time to dry now. And when the video comes back, we will see what it looks like. Okay, let's see how this worked out. I did add a weight, a book, a piece of board and a weight just to kind of help keep everything smashed flat um and really if you're having if you have a book press that's what a professional would use but obviously i don't have one of those but just a 25 pound weight and a, something like a piece of chunk of wood or something like that that's you know flat and uh straight and can tolerate the weight of your weight or if you had some kind of a weight that was heavy, that was like a board shape, you'd be fine too. So, so let's go ahead and see how this worked out. Get the weight off there, get the board off there. There's the book underneath there. Pull all these bits off. a little bit of tug here actually when I went to pull this baking paper off because it has actually stuck to this glue. That's why I say you definitely want to use baking paper and not wax paper because if this had been wax paper that would have stuck here and I would have had a big mess because that would have been just attached right there. But as it is it looks really good. I, don't, I can't flake any of that up anymore. The hole is good now. 
flipping it over, those flaps that were coming up. They look okay. Yeah, this all looks good. Now, hopefully I didn't uh, glue some pages shut. Um, flip through it here real quick. Make sure I didn't accidentally dr The worst thing that I worry about is a drop of glue that I don't notice. Um, landing somewhere from the paintbrush onto a page. So that is what I, my biggest concern when I'm doing this. But here's here's those pages that I glued back in. Um, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, this whole section right here, I glued it. There's the, there's the tape. You can still sort of see it um, down in there. There's some more of that tape. But it's perfectly readable. It's perfectly usable. It's no longer falling apart, so that's exciting. Um, kind of flipping it through here a little bit. There may be some sections where I would want to maybe go back through and do some more gluing on, which is perfectly acceptable. Maybe you go through, you do it once, you go back through, maybe you find something else, and your section didn't get quite enough glue on there. It's perfectly fine to just do it again. But I went through and I actually glued all of these pages because they were all coming out, and they're all looking really good now. Um, yeah, I would call this a, a success. Uh, I would actually would consider actually adding a bit of glue right here, because I did not do this page. This is a page I did not do, just for comparison. This is a section I did not do, and it's still broken. And here's a section I did. It's perfectly readable. Um, if you can see that better here on the screen, but it's perfectly readable, perfectly legible. Once again, I have this. This was a really expensive, rare first edition of something. I would not do it like this. I would have a professional do it, but for this kind of a repair like this for myself, uh, for game books, or it works for paperbacks, it works for any type of book like that that you might have that's falling apart. Just glue the pages back in. Uh, reinforce the spine and there's, so there's some other spots I might actually consider going because this are all sections I didn't do so there's there are actually more sections I might consider going back through on this book there's also I noticed a couple of torn pages up in the corner somewhere which I'll have to go fix too but but for the repairs that I did they worked out great and now I'll probably do some more re repairing on this book um, like I said some of these uh, sections like right here which are split but all in all i would call this a success um this is a great example it's back it's hard it's solid again the spine isn't great it, it isn't you know the pages aren't like they're going to fall apart this spine up here where it was so loose is nice and solid and hard again um now like the scuff marks and stuff there isn't much you can do for that uh you could technically take some paint to it or something but i would just leave that as it is if you ever have a corner that's like super bad like none of these corners are super bad but if you had a corner that was super bad you could actually take some book tape and book tape it um but i would only do that if i absolutely needed to so that requires splitting uh cutting this here and then cutting this here on the corner and then peeling the whole section back and then inserting your book tape into it and then wrapping that corner down and around onto the inside and then you lay your cover back and then glue that all back down so that you're not covering up your actual cover of your book you would actually be putting the tape inside of there but I guess none of these corners are bad enough to warrant that so I'm not even gonna not even going to do that, but uh, this looks really good. So, well, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful and informational and all the things. Uh, click the bell, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and uh, thanks. Talk to you later.